A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, is a generation's old Chinese saying. The first step in Uganda's scientific battle and journey against HIV AIDS started in 1991, when President Yoweri Museveni gave the directive that birthed the Joint Clinic Research Center, JCRC. His Excellency the President said, I must take action in order to save the lives of soldiers because it had affected the army. And that's why they had to come up with the center with minimal support from outside. The situation at that time was very, very bad. It was a time when millions of people were dying of HIV AIDS and there was no solution. There was none even in the pipeline. Burials were taking place virtually every day. Work was coming to a standstill in offices, in banks, in villages. It was non-stop funerals. The center was born as a collaboration between Makere University's School of Medicine and the Ministry of Health and Defense. The Ministry of Health was primarily responsible for policy, the Ministry of Defense provided the infrastructure, and Makere University Medical School, today called College of Health Sciences, provides some of the researchers with whom JCRC works. Uh, one of the mandates was to do research on HIV AIDS, and uh, it was expected at that time that we could actually find a cure through HIV research. The second objective was to um, provide the uh, specialized care for patients who are HIV infected. And uh, we were also expected to provide facilities for other researchers, both in the country but also uh, in other areas of the world. In 1991, new adult HIV infections were at an all-time high in Uganda. I will tell you about that time. Claims about all kinds of uh, concoctions, uh, drugs, uh, herbs, and uh, all kinds of uh, treatments were claimed to be cures for HIV AIDS. Our first job was to debunk that nonsense. We carried out studies on the numerous herbal concoctions claimed at the time to be a cure for AIDS and were able to dismiss them as being bogus and non-effective. By that work, we saved Ugandans lots of resources and possible toxic effects of concoctions that were being sold at the time. Throughout the late 90s and early 2000s, JCRC continued to investigate the virus. Newly discovered vaccine trials, planned ARV dosage interruptions, and studies on pediatric HIV cases. The very first project we worked on in 1991 was a research on the then only one drug which had been discovered in the United States, and that drug was called Zidovide. It is mostly known by most people as AZT. Joint Clinical Research Center set out to find whether in fact we could use lower, safer drugs of Zidovidine and get the benefit, temporary benefits that it conferred upon patients. And by using a lower dose, it also meant it would be more affordable to Africans who did not have uh, so much resource, because even at that time it was highly expensive. And so we embarked on a study to find out whether Zidovidin could save lives when used in low doses without causing so much toxicity. With the backdrop of these early successes in 2003, JCRC's journey was boosted when the then U.S. President George Bush announced the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEPFA. Joint Clinical Research Center was the first one 
in the world to be awarded a contract to scale out antiretroviral therapy uh, in Uganda. And we started a project called TREAT, Timetable for Expansion of Antiretroviral Therapy. The leadership of GSLC was um, strategic and uh, they made sure that these services could be taken to other areas, including the, the hard to reach, like uh, Karamoja. Um, the, the northern region also had just um, come from war and uh, we still had displaced uh, people living in camps and we made sure that we had uh, outreaches that could go to those displaced camps to make sure that people got HIV services. Other hard reach areas were like Kalangala, we are the ones who took their HIV treatment for the first time. We went to Bwindi and we went to Kisoro and uh, other areas where services were not available at the time. With a seven-year lifespan and a budget of 69.4 million US dollars, the TREAT program aimed at providing universal ART for those in need through an equitable, high-quality and sustainable national program based on the Ministry of Health Policy and Guidelines. Yes, I also started most of the HIV providers also found uh, it good to come and provide services and even go beyond what we could do. So we are glad that we started and also empowered other organizations to carry this job further than what we could provide at the time. To conduct its core business nationally, GSCRC established seven regional centers of excellence across Uganda. These centers of excellence, such as this one in Gulu, were established under the decentralized system of antiretroviral therapy rollout program. The centers provided effective coordination of the various aspects of the ART rollout exercise and ensured a comprehensive laboratory support to the national ART program. The centers served their respective mapped regions as regional headquarters, providing tertiary care, laboratory services, technical support, in key program areas, training, support supervision, monitoring and evaluation, research and supporting the districts to achieve their HIV strategic goals and objectives. Joint Clinical Research Center started over 100,000 patients on antiretroviral therapy. And our model which we established was called the network model and this network model has been emulated by many other countries as a successful model for scale-up of antiretroviral therapy. Today, the JCRC centers of excellency are still operational in Barara, Fort Porto, Kachira, in Jinja, Mbale, and Gulu. The one in Mobende was handed over to the Ministry of Health well, Kabali is currently overseen by the management of Kabali Regional Referral Hospital. So we do research services that inform policy. So in that way, we we work uh, with the district uh, administration and the regional hospitals to share research experience and new new findings. And um, we at the same time uh, act as a base for uh, offering advanced care to patients who can't be managed in the lower, in the lower facilities. In 2010, the highly impactful USA Treat project transitioned into the Target HIV AIDS and Laboratory Services TALAS project. The country has the ability to manage HIV in each and every health facility, especially health center for district hospitals and regional referral hospitals. They now have all these uh, facilities, uh, including viral load. And now GSRC is managing the advanced uh, HIV. 2016 marks the 25th year of GSRC's journey. It's been a journey of growing from strength to strength. In GSRC's trail are achievements and accolades that are making Uganda proud. Some of the accolades are generated from the center's research agenda, which is growing continuously. The 
peer press, that is the medical journals, are full of publications that have come from this center working with our partners uh, in Uganda and other parts of the world. Dr. Henry Mugera heads the research team at JCRC. One of the research that we are involved in as JCRC was the, called a DART study. And this study looked at uh, the possibility of providing ARVs um, in a low resource setting where there is limited um, monitoring, sophisticated monitoring with the laboratory uh, equipment because at that time we didn't have uh, these um, gadgets to be able to monitor people's blood and, and, and um, uh, toxicities. So this study that we involved in was one of the largest in the world, the DART study. Uh, it was able to demonstrate that actually the ARVs could be given safely uh, in a low resource country. We've been part of other landmark um, state-of-the-art research projects and one of them called STAT has recently resulted into uh, international guidelines which direct how we treat patients. We are now part of what we call the HIV cure research agenda and maybe we are only one of two sites in the rest of Africa that are part of this. So while we are treating HIV as a chronic disease, we are also looking to see can we actually cure HIV. This is still uh, in research but we are optimistic that we will come up with something in the future. Apparently we are part of the STAT study which has just come up with the results that show that uh, we no longer need to wait for someone's CD4s to drop uh, because of the overwhelming benefits of starting immediately on ARVs. Initially, we used to wait until when someone's CD4s dropped to a certain figure uh, where we thought maybe their immune system was weak enough so that we could start them on treatment. But this study has helped us to understand that actually, the sooner someone starts on ARVs before their immune system uh, weekends, the better for them. In its initial years, JCRC operated from Mango. Today it has constructed and moved into its own premises in Lubowa, a Kampala suburb. To ensure that we put up our own structures at Lubowa, and that build, those buildings were put up by the funds generated by the research officers there and nothing from the government. Not a single kind, coin of government went into those buildings at Lubawa. That was most, something which has never happened before for most government bodies. It is here that the center continues to provide leading comprehensive HIV AIDS treatment and care services. Here the center runs both adult and pediatric programs under various arrangements including corporate and private packages offered at subsidized payment arrangements. However, free services are still offered for project patients and patients' existing studies. Dr. Francis Sally heads the clinical services at JCRC. HIV has been transformed into in a manageable uh, chronic ailment, just like high blood pressure, just like diabetes, and many other chronic illnesses. And uh, some of the things that we manage now are related perhaps to um, living long with, 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 with a, a disease that is manageable. And the sort of challenges that we're facing are a lot different. We're now managing more not just infections that we used to manage in those days, but uh, what we call non-communicable uh, diseases that perhaps may be associated with HIV, but also uh, which are also seen in the rest of the wider community. So I think as we move forward, we're trying to make sure that we have a more comprehensive access to, to health, uh, for our population, for our, our clients. 
The clinical services at JCRC have been expanded to include dental and cardiology sections. This is the center's strategy to become a financially sustainable organization. Clinical services are offered in the outpatients department, department of pediatrics, inpatients department, the ward, pharmacy, and psychosocial support team that includes counselors and adherence officers. A major landmark in its 25-year journey is its network of laboratories. JCRC currently operates a set of the art network of research and patient care laboratories. The research laboratories are jointly run by Case Western Reserve University in the USA. They are equipped with some of the latest technologies. Among them is the World Health Organization approved high safety P3 laboratory where highly epidemic diseases such as Malberg, Ebola, tuberculosis, bird flu are handled. We have a PC lab, it's very uh, safe uh, place to work in and also safe for the environment. Mm. And we can handle quite a number of samples because at uh, one time we can handle over 1,000 samples. And on those, on those samples, these JCRC laboratories in Kampala and the network of regional centers of excellence laboratories in other parts of the country are already participating in a number of external quality control and quality assurance schemes such as the College of American Pathologists, CAP, the United Kingdom National External Quality Assurance Scheme and the Center of Disease Control, CDC, Atlanta Validation. We have a state-of-the-art laboratory. We have cutting-edge technology. That We have machines that have a high throughput with the ability to run so many samples and we have the capacity to run. Right now we are, we are doing HIV drug resistance testing as a way of monitoring patients from around the country. The advantage GCRC has is that because of this high capacity uh, it has built over time, uh, it is the only lab that has been, it's the only site, GCRC, it's the only site that has been recommended to do third line treatment for all the patients in Uganda. In this freezer's building, all samples that have been studied by GCRC are stored here. JCRC boasts of having the largest samples repository in the region. In research, we, most of the time we involve samples. Then, after we have analyzed them, we store them at minus 80. At minus 80, this ensures the integrity of the sample. So that over years, after one research, other researchers can have questions which can arise, then we revert back to the samples that we kept to do other studies. We have samples way back from 1991. They are all viable. JCRC laboratories are also part of the Viral Quality Assurance Program for viral load by the National Institutes of Health and the Asia Quality Assurance Scheme for HIV drug resistance testing. These programs have ensured that international standards are maintained at all network of research and clinical laboratories. As it journeys on, JCRC is well equipped to remain a center of excellence, ready to tackle whatever challenges strides its path. This center is now equipped to readily embark on tackling any emerging disease that might come. To date, JCRC is credited for initiating over 90,000 Ugandans on ART, thereby saving thousands of Ugandan lives. Furthermore, thousands of children born with HIV AIDS have grown into adulthood. 24-year-old Flavia Namala is one of the members of the JCRC Psycho Support Group for young people living with HIV. They first disclosed to me when I was here at JCRC 
and it was hard to swallow, but because of the counseling, the care and the time they gave me, I was able to stand. And it has been really a great journey. Just as is not only my center of excellence, but it's my home. It's a place where I come and I feel comfortable. It's a place that keeps me going. It's a place that when I dream of coming, the day I come here, it is a day well spent. A day that I recall for the rest of my life. So it has been really a great experience. I have no disadvantages and I believe I'll still move because of just here. See, I've moved mountains. I've been out of Uganda, I've attended global conference. Because of being a member of Stigma Race Band, I've got many opportunities to share with other people. I'm a role model and my dreams are coming true and I have a lot of visions for the future. On the local scene, the centre continues to contribute to research capacity building through the various training and fellowship programs based at JCRSC. Such programs support universities in Uganda through sponsoring or introduction of courses that are relevant to research capacity enhancement. Internally, JCRSC runs continuous training for its staff to ensure that they are of high quality and competence. Many of the staff who were here at the inception of the institution are still with us, but some staff have moved on because our staff are also very attractive to other institutions. So as staff leave, we have to, there is a continuous uh, program for training to make sure that the staff meet the uh, standards that are required of us when we are doing international research. The successes at JCRC have been made possible by teams of professionals who are equally content with their working environment. Believe me, if um, so many people change places, one year is there, the other year is there, and most of the people whom we are going to, to meet here, they have been here from school, they came here, and they started, like for me, from school I just joined. So a place that you've worked for over 15 years is, believe me, it, it must be a miss I'm separate <laughs> in that place. <laughs> and so uh, if you are willing to join, <laughs> there's no doubt you should. So the records are there to speak to the themselves. Most people here have been here for some time. And we enjoy. It's a very good place. You learn. It's a place to learn. It's a place to, to, you know, to interact with people, you know, and interface with people. To me, the experience is really absolutely superb. It's exciting. There is always something new to learn. And it keeps you... You wake up in the morning knowing that you're going to be useful and it creates the energy that is really good. Among JCRC's landmark successes have been implementing large budget projects and remaining free of financial scandals. This is attributed to stringent policies and procedures followed in its administrative processes. Each project or each research study has what we call a work plan and there is also a procurement plan. So as finance department, we manage site logistical issues because we have a budget in place for that given project. We have a work plan that also guides, and above all, we have a procurement plan. You cannot just wake up in the morning and say, I want a chair, yet you didn't plan for it. You cannot just wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to do an activity ABC yet you do not have it in your work plan. Everything is planned, and everything goes according to plan. Above all, at JCRC, we have what we call, we have a business plan that stretches forth every five years. So every year, we have a strategic plan that we draw up, and it's participative, where we have all concerned stakeholders coming together and planning together for the organization. Prospecting the future for JCRC requires taking stock of the learning moments from this 25-year journey. This institution is supported by government, but uh, government only contributes about 0.5% of our annual budget. So the rest of the money that we have to run the research, to provide care for HIV patients, to maintain the place, to do infrastructure development has to be um, generated. You don't know how it feels 
to know that next year there is no funding and the year after there is no guaranteed funding and you have as an institution got to raise it to keep moving to keep researching to keep attracting partners that has been one of the most challenging obstacle which we have because of the teamwork, because of the partnerships that we established, which we've had to overcome. What I celebrate at 25 years of JCRC is the teamwork. There has not been an individual action that has carried the day. It has been the team working together, sharing the same uh, problems, addressing them as a team, and uh, this teamwork spirit is what I think we are celebrating. There is a quote that says, life is a journey with many paths, and the path you choose is your destiny. As JCRC celebrates 25 years, it's evident that it shows an excellent path a path that they have journeyed with integrity, confidentiality, compassion, mutual respect, teamwork, accountability, continuous learning, innovation, and excellence. There is no doubt that the center is an icon of a vibrant, self-sustaining center of excellence in medical research, training, and healthcare. It is a journey that has been worthwhile.